This is everything I, oh, shit. I it up. That's everything I do in 37 minutes. Hi, I'm Eric Andre. This is everything I do in a day. Uh, when do I wake up and how? I usually wake up at like 8 a.m., I think, and I wake up like this. I wake up exhausted, still drunk from the night before, all pilled out and bloated like a corpse. I do mental alarm. So I don't like the alarm clock starting my day with like, it's like starting your day with like a metal video. So I just do mental alarm. I go, 8 a.m. you wake up and it doesn't work. I'm in the shower for like hours, four or five hours sometimes sobbing. It's like a scene from uh, Manchester by the sea. Normal day, I'm in and out of there. I got places to go to and people to see or whatever the expression is. I'm in, I shower. I wash my mouth out with soap to punish myself because I'm a bit of a bad boy. No, I, I don't know. I just wash my body and my face and then I dry and then I brush my teeth. Then I use deodorant. And then by 8.20, I'm done. Hop in the bed. Meditate for 20 minutes. Achieve spiritual bliss. Squeegee my third eye wide open, as Bill Hicks would say. And I'm fully self-actualized in a, a state of spiritual nirvana. Uh, and I have ascended into the heavens uh, cosmically and psychically like the Dalai Lama and then it's right back to anxiety and depression. So then I blast my brain with caffeine, coffee, that's at 840. You want specifics, I get it. I grind up the beans, I got a pour over, black coffee, no milk, no sugar, little bit of fruit, and then I exercise. I exercise rigorously. I'm running up and down stairs, I'm doing fucking handstands. Like I'm training for, uh, Man vs. Wild, or Naked and Famous, or, or American Warrior Ninja. I'm drenched in my juices after the gym, got a shower. Again, second shower of the day. And then finally, I kind of start feeling like a human being before I go to work. I look at my phone too much. I'm addicted to my phone, and it's like, gotta stop, because I think it's ruining the like shape of my brain. Try to not look at it until I'm done meditating in the morning. It's so sad when you get that screen time alert. It's like, you've been on your phone f f 26 hours a day. And you're like, great. Well, I needed it for work. It wasn't all social media. And your phone's like, nope, you were only on it for social media. You're pathetic and you have no self-control. Oh, cool. You're a lab rat who's addicted to the dopamine hit that you get when you check your phone. I'm like, I want to check my phone more now that you're talking to me, phone. So I, I, I'm OCD, so I check every email. I'm like that person that has zero emails. Most people have like 45,000 unchecked emails, but I would be too OCD. I'd need to like check every single one of them. So I try to get it to work by like 10. Uh, yeah, I listen to music in the car. I was listening to uh, Jojo Makasai in the car today. I was listening to Whitney Houston and Colombian music. I was listening to some cumbia and a little Barry Manilow, a little Wham. On the Eric Andre Show is uh, also 15 minutes from my house. So I'll either go to the, the production office or I'll go to the editing bay. And for the movie, they were the same place. I arrive at 10.30. But every day is totally different. It depends on what project I'm working on. They're like, we're like work on punching up bits that were not funny yet or work on story elements that had like plot holes in them. Um, a lot of tedious editing. Uh, or when we were in prep and rehearsal, we rehearse a lot at the rehearse as much as we could. You do a lot of, lot of tedious meetings, uh, back to back to back. Yeah, so anything creative, the only meetings I was not a part of were like budgetary stuff. That's the only thing that I'm like, bye bye. Typical day, I would have lunch at like 1.30 or two. I try to eat healthy so they don't crash the second half of the day. So I try not to eat heavy food. I try to eat like fish, chicken, and veggies. And then, uh, but that, uh, that doesn't always happen. And um, the more stressed you are at work, the more you stress eat. And uh, I try to avoid snacks, but that doesn't always happen. I try not to drink coffee in the afternoon. So I try to like 
just keep it to like one or two cups in the morning. Because uh, if I drank coffee all day, I would never get to sleep. But if I didn't drink coffee, I'd be miserable. Then I usually crash around 3 or 3.30. So that's the time that I meditate between 3 and 4 for like 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Then I come out of it. I believe in sleep and sleep hygiene, so I never sleep in my office. I know some like SNL writers that would like sleep in their office, but I think it's unhealthy. And then you feel like shit the next day. So depending on the day, I would leave anytime, leave the office anytime between six and 10, typically go home, eat dinner at eight. I like eating dinner at eight, then stopping work or my mind won't settle. So, but on like a, crazy work day I would just eat dinner at the office and work through dinner but it's kind of grueling I used to cook sometimes I order sometimes my girlfriend cooks sometimes I'll, I'll like hire a cook I got like a carbon neutral pasture raised like wagyu steak uh, that we put on the Traeger smoker and did like a reverse sear of it and it was like probably the most delicious thing I've had in a long time at the house it's hard for me to wind down. I'm like working on it now. Now I'm like trying chamomile tea. I have a, uh, a steam shower and I have a sauna outside. Uh, so I like try to like schwitz uh, and like take an Epsom salt bath and like really wind down and just try to like turn off screens and read and journal. I don't do that every night. I try to do that. What really happens is me being, I get like work obsessed to like 10, 11, or 12. And I try, then I then I start trying to wind down. But I fail because I'm just staring at screens and writing and stressing about work. Usually getting into bed like just shy of midnight. Then I try to sleep. And I probably don't get to sleep till like two. So sometimes I remember my dreams. And sometimes I'll do a little CBD like tincture to, to go to sleep and that gives me really visual dreams and uh dude i tried to microdose mushrooms the other day before bed and microdose you're not supposed to have a psych psychoactive effect um but i didn't microdose i like macro dose i didn't ma i didn't have a huge dollop but i was tripping and i went to sleep eventually and i had fucking crazy dreams i was like in a john waters movie for like eight hours i floss where my floss heads at I floss heavy. I got dental tape, tea tree oil flavored dental tape, and I get those chunks out my teeth. Um, I got a, I got a, a Oral B uh, electric toothbrush and I Listerine. I'm like psychotic and a tongue scraper. I have the cleanest mouth and I have a Toto toilet that cleans my butthole. I have the cleanest mouth and the cleanest butthole. The top and bottom of my gastrointestinal tract is is like squeaky clean. That was everything I did in a day. My day starts and begins with me cleaning my booty hole.